Good day, everybody. I trust everyone can hear me. Um, can everyone can everybody hear me clearly? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Okay. So as you would have heard, um, my name is Clendon Bissett, and I'm currently the lecturer for front end, the front end web development program as part of the associate degree in digital media. So let me just put my slide up. Um, just share my screen here. Okay, so just from just by checking, everyone can see my screen that I'm sharing. Yes, we can. All right, great. Okay, so the front end web development program is really geared towards getting students started on a journey um, towards possibly becoming what we like to consider full stack web programmers or web designers. Now, a quick disclaimer, the program name actually doesn't really do it justice because within the program itself, we go a lot further than just front end web development. Okay, so when we consider the program name um, as front end web development, we go a lot further than that. Now, in this program, um, students will be exposed to the skills which are needed um, to build interactive and, and responsive applications on the web. So the program's objective is to create an understanding of, um, and in some cases, because students already have a knowledge of it, to deepen the knowledge that they have of the key languages that support the web. And what we're talking about here is um, things like HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Okay. Now, I mentioned that the name of the program was not really giving, you know, doing justice to the depth of what it actually covers. We don't only study the front end of websites. Okay, this program will also explore the server side of web development. So we're looking at client server architecture, different server side scripting languages, technologies such as PHP, um, MySQL, et cetera, and so on. The goal is to develop database driven dynamic websites. Okay, now additionally, um, students will be introduced to mobile app development, where we look at the app development environments and ecosystems, practices, tools, techniques, and learners will explore, students are going to explore the various standards and trends of the mobile app development industry, along with other industry tools or common industry tools. Um, for mobile development, mobile app development. So um, learning languages like, um, sorry, frameworks like AngularJS, um, user interface frameworks like Ionic. The goal here um, would be that by the end of the program, students would have um, knowledge and skills needed to embark on, um, possibly embark on a career in the development of um, functional web apps and hybrid apps, if they so desire, and possibly native apps, okay? And I say possibly native apps because from the experience of running the course, a lot of what we do while we're running the course is focused around the development of web apps and also the development of hybrid apps, okay? native apps for iOS and Android is also mentioned, but um, it's, it, it kind of comes along as part, of, as part of the package along the way, but we don't, we spend more of our time looking at um, hybrid apps and looking at, um, looking at hybrid apps and looking at um, web apps, okay? So, Typically, each program has its requirements, and this one is no different. This one has requirements as well. And because of the highly technical nature um, of the course, 
because it's highly technical and ICT oriented. Um, a lot of the content of the course is making up the front end web development program are ICT oriented. A grade one, two, or three in IT or EDPM is a prized asset. Okay, it's a prized asset, it's very valuable. Okay, so when we begin to speak about particular terms and terminologies, people are not, um, you know, caught out in the cold. Um, visual arts, uh, POB, and um, literature at CSEC level or equivalent is also a requirement. Okay, now um, students can also gain entry for the presentation of a digital media portfolio if one exists. Um, although I would defer discussion of that to the program head, as that would require possibly a different process. And, you know, as they say, terms and conditions apply. So um, that particular aspect of things, I will defer to my program head and she can possibly, you know, in a one-on-one -on -one discussion, she can probably deal with that. Okay. So I believe in letting people know exactly what they're getting into from the onset. Now, in the front end web development um, slant of the associate degree course of study, um, you can expect to take a, a selection of courses. And some of these courses will overlap across other programs within the department. So let me just give you a little summary of a few of the courses that I lecture within front end web development. So in year one, um, what we typically call level one, we have the preparatory and, and introductory courses. Okay, so we're looking at courses like Introduction to Digital Media and You and the Digital World. Um, in year two, we what we call level two, that's where we more or less dive into the real practical applications of, of, of knowledge. So we have web development one, where we start definitely looking at HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We have web development two, um, where we go one level up and we begin to look at server-side scripting, okay? And then we have, of course, mobile app development, um, which I spoke a little bit of earlier. <laughs> so you can see that in year two is where a lot of the, the meat of the course really sits. So from a, the, the, the purest side of it begins to come out in year two. So year one is more or less for, for front end web, it's more preparatory and introductory. And then they move into doing some, um, you know, practical applications in year two. So um, as you would have heard, I suppose each course successfully completed contributes to your overall number of credits and um, the courses are spread over a number of hours um, in which the course content can be taught and completed. So every course completed within front-end web development contributes to your credits at the end. Okay, and I'm sure you'll hear more of that later on. So um, let me just give you a quick of course, yes, sorry, I forgot, the practicum. Um, the practicum is basically for this program, um, practicum basically, it can be used synonymously with work experience or placement where we, um, we work with the students to take the knowledge that they have been gaining so far in year two, up to year two and have them to begin to work with um, potential individual, potential clients, even potential employers, um, persons within the field who um, can guide them in you know, the, the actual work environment and the, the, the actually working with clients, et cetera, what clients expect and so on and so on. So that's what this particular area here, the practicum um, entails. Okay, so just to give you, I, I like to speak about my courses. And the reason why I like to speak about my courses is that I don't want, I want everyone to know, like I said, what they're getting into. And there will be no surprises along the way in terms of how heavy or how light or how challenging. Notice I'm not saying how hard because I, I don't think these courses are hard. 
but there may be challenges along the way and people will need to understand what they're getting themselves into. So I wanna look at just the courses that I teach within front or that are unique to front end web development. Um, so let's just run through these real quickly. Um, I know that I just have 10 minutes. So in the introduction to digital media, we, we explore what digital media means in the modern world. Um, you can expect to learn concepts and theory that's associated with the art and the science of digital media production. You learn to use um, digital media tools and apply basic techniques to digital media production and um, encounter you know, connections to digital media in the Caribbean, in a Caribbean context. So remember, I spoke earlier about an overlap with courses in one program that appear on a course listing for another program. Well, this course is one prime example of this because this course's content also serves as a foundational level to other content that's covered in other courses like audiovisual production. Okay, so Mrs. Sandiford will speak about that a little later. So students get introduced in one module to things like um, audiovisual production techniques, things like storyboarding and scripting and camera movement. Okay, and the course will also be ex ex exposing you to the do's and don'ts for positive um, practices in online networks, um, you know, intellectual property rights, netiquette, things that are integral to working with digital media in any sphere. Okay, um, students will have to work with things like copyright and co creative commons and copyright law and um, open content or open source content, you know. So as they go through digital media and they go through that slant, whether it's the front end web development slant or whether it's the, the animation or audio visual components, they will have to interact with things like, like what is shown here so that is definitely part of introduction to digital media. All right, you and the digital world is um, is another course that deals with the do's and don'ts in the digital world online. Um, it's a personal favorite course of mine. Um, it gives you insight into various aspects, or gives or gives you the insight into various aspects of being a good digital citizen. And I can guarantee you that by the end of this course, you will come out with a huge appreciation of your place in the digital world and, and the degree of responsibility that comes with it. Um, so in this course, you can expect to encounter things such as digital, again, digital copyright, internet privacy, being safe online, your digital footprint and the impacts of that. Okay. Um, then of course we come to the, the good stuff. Web development one, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay, let me just go back. Right. Um, so in, in web development one, students are taught in a rather undiluted way, the basic knowledge and the hands-on skills that are required for planning, designing, developing effective websites. And we focus on the traditional languages of the web. Okay. So I keep referring to HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, the traditional languages of the web. Now you will be exposed to, to internet, um, internet terminologies, internet concepts. And now let me make sure students and parents, potential students um, and parents are aware that a lot of what will form the body of uh, much of the year two courses that I teach in front end web development will be web coding, okay? You will be required to write code. You will be taught how to write code and you will be required to code. So coding, web coding at least, is a specification of the, a lot of the courses that I teach in year two. So just, I just wanted to lay that on the table so that no one is, is, is caught by surprise to believe that this is you know, a quote unquote drag and drop course. It isn't, okay? It's rather purist in the way that we look at um, web development. So we're looking at HTML and JavaScript and enhancing web pages with CSS, okay? Um, speeding along, uh, web development two, 
um, server-side scripting. Basically, um, once students know how to develop a website and to host a website, we, we move to the client side of web, from the client side of web development to the server side. And we begin to explore um, how different coding languages like PHP and MySQL and Node.js are used to create some of the robust um, features that you've seen and experienced on many websites that you interact with daily, but you never really gave a second thought to how those websites were doing the things that they were doing. So you can expect to um, develop database driven websites um, and explore threats to websites with website security, small things that you can do to secure a website, um, you know, server side scripting technologies. Okay. And in mobile app development, I mean, because we live in a world where mobile technology and mobile applications literally run the world that we live in. Um, so whether it's education, entertainment, business, socialization, content creation, there is, a, there is always a mobile app for something. There's always a hot mobile app for that, okay? So we're gonna journey through the process of mobile app creation. We're not just gonna be just jumping headfirst into building apps. You have to have an understanding of things like the ecosystem of mobile apps, you know, the environment that mobile apps reside in, categories of them, tools, um, mocking them up, you know, planning it. You know, we think of it as building a house. You need to have a plan. So mocking them up and, um, you know, actually going and developing um, web apps and hybrid apps, okay? Um, so essentially, just to wrap up, um, again, knowing what you're likely to get into this with this program over the next two years, some general information. Um, my courses, the courses in front-end web development are conducted 100% online, okay? Um, as to whether that will change, that's not something that I, I can basically say at this particular point, but for the foreseeable future, um, these courses, the courses that I do are, are conducted 100% online. So all our interactions will take place in a digital setting, okay, on, on your computer, preferably your laptop or, or desktop PC, um, through what we consider to be self-paced activities. So things placed online, assignments and modules and content placed online that the student will interact with and attempt particular exercises. Um, what we consider to be synchronous and asynchronous instruction. So um, we can have live sessions or you may have tutorials, okay? So you may have online class sessions, regular online class sessions, and you will be required to work on your own with things like tutorials that your lecturer will provide, um, content, exercises, etc. Okay, so um, that's basically my wrap up of, of what it is that um, the front end web development program is. Um, once you do the front end web development program, you have a wide range of possible avenues or careers that you can jump into. I've listed a few of them here. Um, you know, web development, a web developer, web designer, web content manager, mobile app developer, user experience designer, web administrator. There's a whole a whole range of possible careers that you can possibly get into. And the list is extensive. This is just a few. So once you come out of there, um, you will already have a kickstart, you know, a, a, a push towards the direction of one of these possible um, careers. So um, I will await or anticipate any questions that you will have afterwards. Um, but um, this in a very big nutshell, <laughs> is what front-end web development pro the front-end web development program is. Okay, thank you. So after Lewis Community College, apply today and fast track your career.